So what do you get when you mix a wireless keyboard and a Qi charging coil? Well, you get an actually wireless keyboard. Is this a new idea? No, I'm not the first one to do it. But the idea that a wireless keyboard like this can be crippled by a battery is just silly to me. Uh, I love this keyboard. I love the Hall Effect switches and the typing experience is fantastic. But the one thing that really holds this back is the abysmal battery life when you use all those features. With RGB on, I find that I am having to charge this almost daily, and that is just simply not good enough. So what I wanted to do was completely ditch the wires and incorporate a Qi charging coil inside the case of this keyboard so that I never have to touch a cable with it again. And we did just that last night on stream. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna get exactly the right Allen key. First try. Let's go. That's how it's done. Oh, if there's no problem with the keyboard, it's not recommended to try this at home as it can risk injuries and keyboard damage caused by the disassembling. Dissembling the K2 will invalidate the returns and exchanges guarantee. Well, I guess if Keychron happens to be watching, they're going to catch me. And I'll be honest, when it comes to electronics, I get a little antsy. Electricity is Still kind of a scary thing to me because I don't want to get shocked. I'm not like Electro Boom where getting shocked by thousands of volts is a everyday occurrence and I don't want to screw up these very expensive electronics. But if I can get through this, so can you. So this is the nicest keyboard I've ever owned. Feels kind of wrong to be doing this to it. This is the rubbery thing that kind of quiets everything. Kind of cool. Again, nicest keyboard I've ever owned. I'm about to do horrible things to it. The markings don't make sense to me. It says VLED. The one that I would think is it, VBUS, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Do I have this backwards? Is it actually the inverse? Possible that those were the... Okay, I don't think I have it backwards. That's data minus, which does match what I have. I told you you could turn off. Ooh. Perhaps maybe VLED is to that one below it and V bus is to the one above it. It's actually a really simple modification. The Qi coil has a positive and a negative lead, and you simply solder those in line with the charging circuits of the electronic device. In this case, I took it apart, found two test pads that were not being used that corresponded with the voltage that was being sent through the USB power supply and I simply soldered it onto those connections, and that was it. That would make it kind of make sense. Okay, there we go. Got a little pad there. Whew. Oh boy. Oh shoot, undid it. Not good enough. Okay, that should be good. That's our red wire done. You know the old saying, the proof is in the pudding? Yeah, this is cracking a little bit from just a little bit of handling I've done. That's how you know it's not just electrical tape. It is a right sheet. The stuff is very brittle from everything I've read. So let's make sure we tape that down so it don't go nowhere. Okay, pushing up on it. Hold in place for a little bit. Make sure everything's adjusted the way I like it. <laughs> let's... Oh! This keyboard, ladies and gentlemen, has just stepped up a whole technology tier. Oh my god! <laughs> It works! I am so stoked! This is so cool! Guys, I never have to plug this thing in again. It will always be a full battery. I can feel a little bit of heat from the charger down here, but it freaking works, guys! Woo. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. With this wireless charger now installed in the keyboard, I never have to plug it in. It's always going to be topped up and just cutting out that one extra cable for charging the keyboard has already made my desk setup a lot cleaner. So I would highly recommend this to anyone who wants a truly wireless experience. It's not that hard to do, and it really is just a game changer. If you have any suggestions for future videos or any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. But until next time, this is Oddjob Entertainment, signing off.